servicio. Walang problema ang di malalagasan. Magliliwanag ang ating kinabukasan. Dance Radio, silipanalan sa radio. Atid na aming makabago, paraan ang pag Kahit saan at kahit kailan Hindi hindi ka iiwanan Hatid na mi bagong kaalaman Edukasyo'y susulong Basta na magtulong-tulong Sulong edukalidad That's Radio Ito ang 106.3 Dance Radio Dance Radio Prepare yourself Ang silid-aralan sa radyo Hating namin ay makabagong paraan Ng pagtuturo at kalaman Mapaumaga, tanghali o hapon man yan Ang espesyong magbibigay impormasyon Kahit sa man Alright, here we go 106.3 Dance Radio Sonia Aurora National High School Santa Rita Aurora Isabela This 106.3 DWBR FM Facts and information Today's learning for you normal With capable teachers Whose heart and soul are divine Delivered knowledge inside your home Through 106.3 Dance Radio Fully dedicated to serve the public in tribute to education, reproduce of radio-based instruction. We are pleased to deliver the utmost aim of education only here on 106.3 DWDRFM. Give a man a fish and you feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish, and you feed him for a lifetime. Good morning, listeners and viewers, and welcome to another day of learning, all here on 106.3 FM Dance Radio. I'm Teacher Dennis Mendoza, your host for today. And without further ado, may I call in Teacher Beverly Ramirez for the introduction. Mom, Beverly? Yes, thank you so much, Sir Dennis. Hello, beautiful people of Doña Aurora National High School. Good morning and a blessed Thursday to everyone. Of course, today is another amazing day, another opportunity, and another chance for each and everyone to learn something new. An amazing, An amazing morning, morning to our, our very young and supportive Municipal Mayor, Joseph Christian Mino Chiwi. Good morning, po, sir, and all to all and to all the members of the LGU Aurora. Also, also to, to our officer in charge, the very supportive and workaholic uh, Chief Education, Education Supervisor of SDO Isabela, Sir Rodrigo B. Pasqua. Good morning po to so our Assistant Principal, Ma'am Ugi Guillermo. Hello, Hello also to our very supportive head, head teachers. First especially to the head teacher of the ELA, Ma'am Ophelia Ralutin. Good morning po sa lahat. Also to all teachers and staff of Doña Aurora National High School, especially to the teachers of the English Learning Area, to the parents, their students, and to all our avid listeners and viewers here and abroad, most especially to the grade 10 learners. Special mention, of course, to my advisory class. Hello, Tentalisay! Also, also to, to the other grade 10 students of 10 Yakal, 10 Kamagong, 10 Mahogany, and 10 Obra. I'm teacher Beverly L. Ramirez. And with me are the other grade 10 teachers, Mom Jennifer Velasco, Mom Rosabel Brillo, and Sir Dennis Mendoza. Hello, Mom Jen. Mom Hello, Rosabel and Sir Dennis. Hello, hello. Okay, hello to all our listeners. 
And to all our grade 10 learners, I am teacher Jennifer A. Velasco. Of course, I would like to greet my advisory class, Seven Soliman. Ewan ko kung nanonood sila, but I guess kayo na pa maaga gising ang mga yan. Meron at merong nanonood na Seven Soliman. I would also like to greet my other classes for grade 10, 10 Molave and 10 Banaba. Please stay tuned with us until the last minute of this segment. Ma'am Rosa? Hello, good morning. Hello to my advisory class, grade 10 Acacia, and to my other classes, 10 Jimelina and 10 Almasiga. I would like also to greet the advisory class of teacher Venus Lintau, 10 SPJ, and her other grade 10 class, 10 Sinagtala. I hope you are ready to interact with us. Yes, and good morning residents. din ha. Good morning din sa ano, sa mga 10, uh, 9 Guyabano at ganyan din sa mga 8th level. Good morning, good morning po sa inyo lahat yan. Mebs? Yes, Sir Dennis. Okay, so thank you so much. Indeed, today is another wonderful day and we are glad to be with you as we embark on another fun-filled learning journey for the first quarter, week two. And for today's lesson, we shall be talking about elements of a material view. For this particular lesson, you are expected to determine how connected events contribute to the totality of a material view and explain how the elements specific to a genre contribute to the theme. Mom Jen? Okay, for those who are following us via Facebook live stream, don't forget to comment in our chat box, hashtag lesson accomplished in grade 10 English. So we hope that you're going to stay with us until the end of this segment. So at this juncture, get your learning activity sheets and your writing materials. And here now is your RBI lesson for today. Enjoy listening. See you later. Wala nang makakapigil pa. Sulo Arangkada 106.3 Dance Radio sa Aurora, Isabela. Edukasyo'y susulong Basta na magtulong-tulong Susulong at magkalitan Dance Radio Facts and information. Today's learning for new normal. With capable teachers whose heart and souls are defined. Deliver knowledge inside your home to radio. This is DWDRFM 106.3 Dance Radio. A community FM radio station of Doña Aurora National High School located at Santa Rita, Aurora, Isabela. This, this is DWDRFM. WDRFM 106.3. The Dance Radio. Fully dedicated to serve the public in tribute to education. With the use of radio based instructions, we are pleased to deliver the utmost aim of education through distance learning approach. With subjects like English, Science, Math, Filipino, Araling Palipunan, TLE, MAPE, and ESP. This, this is DWDRFM. WDRFM 106.3. The Dance Radio. Your school on the air. And now, here is your program host of the day. Good day to all our avid listeners, most especially to the grade 10 students of Doña Aurora National High School. This is our second week for our school on the air and it's English time. It's English time. 
Make it a habit to tune in to our station 106.3 FM Dance Radio Where learning is amazing I am Teacher Catherine Ordinario and I will be your host for today It is better if you are in a comfortable place while listening on air If you have any question about your lesson, you can send your message at 0927-213-6257. I repeat, 0927-213-6257. You may also send messages or queries through email address or messenger account of your teacher that can be seen in your kit. So, have fun while learning a lot! Yahoo! May I now introduce your radio teacher for today, Teacher Jennifer A. Velasco. Good morning to all our listeners, most especially to our grade 10 learners. I am your radio teacher for today, Teacher Jen, your partner in achieving DepEd's goal, Sulong Edukalidad. Today is another day of learning for all of us. Let not our distance be a hindrance for us to learn new things. Remember that education opens up the mind, expands it, and allows you to improve your life in so many ways. Before we proceed to our lesson, let's have a short recap of our previous lesson. Who is the author of the novel Life of Pi? Correct! It's Sean Martel. Can you name the five essential parts of the plot? Let's do it! First, we have exposition. Second, is rising action. Third, climax. Fourth, is falling action. And the last part is the resolution or the noma. For retention, let's all listen to this.
I hope through that song you can now easily recall the elements of the plot. Credits to Callan Borden. For today's lesson, we shall be able to accomplish the following objectives. First, identify the parts of a plot. Next, describe the given characters in the story. And lastly, interpret symbolism. I hope that by now you have with you your learning activity sheet so you can easily follow all the activities set for today. I'm sure learning through radio is challenging. Whenever we are hard up and challenged, sometimes we feel alone and forgotten. But my dear learners, whenever you feel this way, may you be inspired in this adage. When you face difficult times, know that challenges are not sent to destroy you. They are sent to promote, increase, and strengthen you. So, let us all embrace this kind of setup because this is now the new normal. Nevertheless, this provides us new opportunities of enhancing our knowledge. So, let us all journey together as we move to our lesson. Are you now ready? Please bring out your learning activity sheet and turn it to page 27, Learning Activity 3, entitled, Tell Me About Them. In this activity, you are going to write some characteristics or descriptions of each character to complete the map. So, let's start. First character, we have the otter. What characteristics or descriptions can you write inside the author? What is his role in this story? Correct! He is the narrator. He is a Canadian who narrated the story as he interviewed Pai about his journey. Next, we have Richard Parker. What important role did Richard Parker have in the story? Yes, Richard Parker is a ferocious Bengal tiger. He is the only companion, friend, and foe of Pi in his journey after the shipwreck incident. How about the third character? How about the third character, Piscine Molitor Patel? Correct! He is Pai, the main character of the story. Pai is a 15-year-old Indian boy and only survivor of a sunken ship after 227 days of staying in a lifeboat with a tame tiger. He has a strong faith in God. How about Ravi Patel? Exactly! He is the older brother of Pai. How about Mr. Santosh Patel and Mrs. Gira Patel? Who are they? Yes, they are Pai's parents. Very good! Now you already know the different characters of the story. Don't go away, we will be right back after a short break. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to Spelling Bee Elimination Round. Spell the word Reservoir. Reservoir. R E uh, S E V In doubt about the correct spelling of confusing words, be diligent in learning spelling rules to improve your English writing skills. 
A friendly reminder from the English Department, Doña Aurora National High School, and this station. Hello! Are you still there? Before we continue our discussion, let me play this short soundtrack. That song is Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On, which became the official soundtrack of the movie Titanic in the year 1997. Wow! For the information of our learners, this movie is a powerful story of survival, love, and heroism after the shipwreck incident. A story that is quite similar to our lesson today. Let us also find out how Pi, the main character in the story we are about to read, surpassed all the challenges he experienced. So now, open your last or learning activity sheet on page 29 and explore the plot of the movie. The different scenes in the movie are categorized with numbers. Later on, you will write the scene numbers in the appropriate elements of the plot inside the boxes on the next page. But let us read the scenes first. How many scenes are there? Precisely, there are only 25 scenes. Ready? Let's begin. Scene number one, Richard Parker runs to the jungle and leaves Pi immediately. Scene number two, Pisin, Pai Mulito Patel, leaves with his family in the Pondicherry Zoo. Scene number three, Pai times Richard Parker and asserts his authority over the tiger. Scene number four. The author interviews the adult Pai Pata in Canada. Scene number five. He makes a routine for himself and writes everything he experiences. Together, they beat all odds to survive. Scene number six. The parents of Pi decided to sell their zoo because of some problems and plan to migrate to Canada. Scene number seven, Pi is shocked when Richard Parker comes out unexpectedly inside the covered part of the lifeboat and devour the hyena. Scene number eight, Pi looks for help since the lower deck is filled with water but instead he is thrown in a lifeboat that accidentally unhitched scene number nine the family boards the timsoon ship 
to Canada. Scene number 10. The Tsim Sum ship sinks due to a very strong storm while Pai drips away in the light boat. Scene number 11. Pai practices three religions namely Hinduism, Christianity, and Islam. Scene number 12. Pai and Richard Parker stay in an island with fresh water, food, and meerkats. But he discovers the island as carnivorous. Scene number 13. Pai believes in God and continues to pray. Scene number 14. Pai makes a raft to distance himself from Richard Parker. Scene number 15. He is brought in the hospital. Scene number 16. Pai and Richard Parker are swept away in the beach of Mexico. Scene number 17. The lifeboat is thrown in the ocean with Pai and a zebra on it. Scene number 18. Pai is interviewed by two Japanese men about the sinking of the Simsung ship. Scene number 19. Pai explains the origin of his name and his way of stopping his classmates in bullying him. Scene number 20. Pai lives in Canada with his wife and children. Scene number 21. Miraculous events happen to provide them food and water such as the bird, flying fishes, and also the rain. Scene number 22. He learns to take care of animals and falls in love with a girl. Scene number 23. Pi finds some food, water, pencil, book, and some survival kit. Scene number 24. At the middle of the night, Pi goes in the main deck when he hears some noise due to a storm. Scene number 25. Pi tells them his story, but they did not believe him. So, he changes this story for a very acceptable version. Eventually, they opted for the original version of his journey. Were you able to follow? My dear students, since we are done reading the scenes of the movie, I guess you are now ready to answer the activity found on the next page entitled, Plot of the Movie. May I just remind you, dear students, that you will only write the scene numbers inside the graphic organizer. I will give you ample time to accomplish this activity and be prepared for the checking later. So don't go away and we will be right back after a short break. It's time to widen our vocabulary. Spell the word reservoir, which means a place where something is kept or is stored. Reservoir. R E S E R V O I R. Reservoir. Use it in a sentence. Use it. Use it. Use it. Magat Dam, located in Ramon Isabela, is the largest water reservoir in the Philippines, which is a great source of irrigation water and provider of hydroelectric power in the entire province. This vocabulary development is brought to you by English Learning Area of Doña Aurora National High School and this station. Ready? 
Facts about COVID-19 What is COVID-19? COVID-19 is a disease caused by a new strain of coronavirus. What are symptoms of COVID-19? Symptoms can include fever, cough, <coughs> and shortness of breath. In more severe cases, infection can cause pneumonia or breathing difficulties. How can we prevent COVID-19? To prevent the spread of COVID-19, clean your hand often. Maintain a safe distance. Wear masks when physical distancing is not possible. Don't touch your eyes, nose, or mouth. Cover your nose and mouth with your bent elbow or a tissue when you cough or sneeze. Stay home when you feel unwell. And if you have a fever, cough, and difficulty breathing, seek medical attention. This health advisory is brought to you by World Health Organization, Doña Aurora National High School, and this station. Let us now check your answers. Let's start with the climax. Among the 25 scenes, which do you think is the climax? Correct! Scene numbers 10, 7, and 12. This part of the plot is where emotions are on its highest peak. How about the exposition? Again, this part of the plot is where characters and settings are being introduced. What scene numbers are the exposition? Yes, scenes 2, 4, 19, 11, and 22. How about the rising action? Great! Scene numbers 6, 6, 9, 24, 8, and 17. How about the falling action? Correct! Scene numbers 14, 3, 23, 5, 13, and 21. How about the resolution or ending part? Definitely! Scene numbers 6, 1, 15, 18, 25, and 20. This part of the plot will tell us whether the story is the happy ever after or a tragic one. Wow! We all deserve in thundering applause for accomplishing some of the activities set for today. I'm sure we are now ready for the next part of our lesson. Turn to page 28 and let us do learning activity 4 entitled Solving the Symbols. In the story, the author used significant symbols to give an overall emotion. Now, write the names of the drone symbols and explain their symbolisms or meanings. Ready? What is the first picture? Yes, it is a lifeboat. How useful was it to Pai? It served as his dwelling place for him to be safe and secured from the attack of the tiger named Richard Parker. In short, it symbolizes safety and security. It also symbolizes life's journey. How about the next picture? What animal is it? Yes, it's a tiger! What would you feel if you see a tiger roaming around you? Of course! You would feel worried and afraid because tiger symbolizes danger or fear. Let's take a look now on the third picture. What do you see in the picture? 
Yes, there's a whale. There are different kinds of fish and waves because the picture is an ocean or body of water. Just like the tiger, ocean also symbolizes danger or problem. Water can also symbolize as a source of life and hope. Remember, Pai drank the water from the ocean to quench his thirst for him to survive. What about the last picture? Would you like to live there alone? Perhaps nobody would like to live in a deserted island alone. Island symbolizes loneliness and isolation. Just as the famous adage goes, no man is an island. We can't live a life alone. We must learn to harmonize with others. So that ends our short but meaningful discussion for today. I hope that through the story Life of Pi, we will be able to strengthen even more our faith with God. No matter how uncertain our lives may be, let us just pause and fervently pray. Surely, He will listen and help us triumph life's battles and trials. Once again, I am your radio teacher for today, Teacher Jennifer A. Velasco, leaving you an inspiring message. Life without trials is meaningless. Life without problems is lifeless. Let our faith be bigger than our fears. And that was your amazing radio teacher, Teacher Jennifer A. Velasco. If you have any question or clarification about your lesson, you can send your message at 0927-213-6257. I repeat, 0927-213-6257. You may also send your messages or queries through email address or messenger account of your teacher that can be seen in your kit. Keep in mind, dear students, that you need to answer the questions placed on a separate sheet to be collected every Friday for checking and feedbacking. On behalf of the production team, together with our technical specialist, Teacher Michael John Tumolak, yeah! Script writer and radio teacher, Teacher Jennifer A. Velasco. Thank you for staying with us as we nurture not only your intellect but as well as your inner spirit. Once again, thank you for being with us. This has been your host, Teacher Catherine Ordinario, now signing off. Facts and Information Today's learning for new normal with capable teachers whose heart and souls are defined. Deliver knowledge inside your home to radio. This is DWDRFM 106.3 Dance Radio, a community FM radio station of Doña Aurora National High School located at Santa Rita, Aurora Isabella. This, this is DWDRFM. WDRFM 106.3 Dance Radio Fully dedicated to serve the public in tribute to education With the use of radio-based instructions we are pleased to deliver the utmost aim of education through distance learning approach with subjects like English, Science, Math, Filipino, Araling Palipunan, TLE, MAPE, and ESP This, this is the WDRFM WDRFM 106.3 The Dance Radio Your School on the Air Dance Radio Sinipalan sa radio Atin nami magkabago Paraan ang pagkukuro Wala nang makakapigil pa Sulo Arangkada 106.3 Dance Radio Sa Aurora Isabella Ito ka siyo'y susulong Basta nga magtulong-tulong Susulong ito kalitan Dance Radio Learning is amazing Sikan pa
Jen. Alright, so you have just heard the second lesson for quarter one. But we, before we proceed, may I greet myself? Happy birthday to myself. <laughs> You go! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! birthday mom. Happy birthday, mom! Class 30! O, oh, diba? So, before we proceed to the discussion of today's lesson, let's have a review of our week one lesson. Your last for week one is titled Using Information from News Reports, Speeches, Informative Talks, and panel discussion in everyday life. For this lesson, you get acquainted with news articles, types of speeches, informative talks, and panel discussion. Sir Dennis? Okay. For us to determine if you really understood your lesson, may I ask you to answer the following. You may key in in your answer. You may key in your answer in our chat box. What about Ready those guy? who are not viewing via live stream, sir? Where, where can they send their answers? Okay, you can send your answer through our uh, PM. PM, you can PM. Your, you can uh, private message or message your uh, teacher. Pwede ba yung ganun na lang, ma'am? Kasi, o nga pala, no, wala tayo nga pala, ano, radio. So, pwede yeah. lang, yung mga, yung mga hindi nakakapag-radio, paano yun? Uh, sa ko na lang sila, ma'am, siguro. Uh, pwede siguro baka sa so, bigay ba tayo ng phone number? Ganon? Oo, uh, uh, okay, siguro. Po. Siguro. And Sige number, po. Uh, anong number po? Kaya po number? Um, we also, para naman ma-encourage talaga silang palaging makinig dito sa ating RBI, we are going to give them prizes. And it will be mm -hmm. random na lang. Itapadala natin sa kanila. So, today, dear learners, you could win prizes like um, writing materials, pen papers, ball pen, or pad papers, and that will just come to you the moment that you are winners. So expect, yes. expect na lang nila na may darating. Pero mm -hmm. kahit di pa sila sure, at least merong prices. Pwede rin pong 10 pesos uh -huh. kung nag-a-upro talaga sila. Okay? At least okay. that is for encouragement and motivation, di ba? May darating ha? Sure yun. Oo, may darating. Oo. May hihintayin kayo at darating talaga. Hindi kayo pa. 100%. 101%. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, ma'am, yung number na lang gagamitin natin. Ma'am, yung number na lang po ba ninyo? Ma'am, Bebs, yung na nagagamitin natin o ano po? Okay. Uh, you can send your answer through my cell phone number. Those who are just uh, listening to the radio. 0915 Ay, sorry 0905 101 5015 Number ko nakalimutan ko pa, no? 0905 101 5015 Okay, Sir Dennis? Ulit-ulitin natin yan, ma'am. Sige po. Okay, here is the question number one. You may key in your answer, ha? This is chat box. O kaya... You may send your uh, answer to the number uh, provided by Mambebs, okay? Here is the question number one. It is the communication or expression of thoughts in spoken words. Again, it is the communication or expression of thoughts in spoken words. Okay, ano kaya ang sagot? What do you call the communication or expression of thoughts in spoken words? Words. I uh, will wait for the answer, Sir Dennis. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Meron ba? Meron na ba tayong Actually, sagot yung, dyan? May konti tayong clue dyan, ma'am, Debs, dito sa uh, yes. answer dito. It is actually one of the things that they fear to do in front of the class. Kasi medyo nilinerbyo sila, no? Oo, okay, in front of na. a group of people. Mm -mm. There are some. Kasi it's not easy, actually. Yeah. Okay, great. Then, sumagot okay, na I... po tayo, ha? Oo, oh, oh, may nakikita na akong sagot. Ayan, so nga. From Alaysa Camille, speech. Yes. From Althea May, of 10 Acacia, speech. Jean Carlo Lintau, of 10 Einstein, speech. Mm -hmm. Almost all of them answered speech. So, ano may po ang pinakasagot? Sino yung pinakauna? 
tinan po muna natin who got the correct uh, what is the correct answer i should say so the answer is ayan yeah. is yeah. okay. so our winner natin yung pinakauna na lang yes mamakil na po the first one na lang Alay sa Camille Alejandro. I think Pero pag, it belongs to 10 SPA, no? Yes, Tama ma'am. Ba? Pero kapag po muli, muli siyang nauna, uh, hindi na po siya ma'am pwedeng manalo once oh, lang. We'll give the chance po. to others naman. Yes po. Yes. Okay. okay. Congratulations, okay. Alay sa Camille. Ayan, number two. Second. Okay, this is number two. Second question. Mm-hmm. It involves a group of people gathered to discuss a topic in front of an audience. It usually includes a moderator who guides the discussion and some elicits audience questions with the goal of being informative and entertaining. entertaining. Again, it involves a group of people gathered to discuss a topic in front of an audience. It usually includes a moderator who guides the discussion and some elicits audience questions with the goal of being informative and entertaining. Yeah, ano sagot? Ano kaya ang sagot dyan? Okay, yeah. Kailangan ang sagot. Uh, yes. To come up with this, dapat may mga kasama ka, no, Sir Dennis? Yes. Kasi you will <laughs> oh, exchange oh, oh, oh. ideas. Yes. So, discuss a particular topic. Okay. Hmm. May nag-text. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buti pa yan, may nag-text. Yeah. Good morning. It's from... May sagot na ba tayo sa ating chat box? May nag-text na? Ayan. Oh, mabagal ko. Ang mga ano sagot dito, nila ba? ay panel discussion. Let us see if their answers is correct. It's panel discussion. Yeah. At ang pinakauna ay si Enrico. Enrico, Enrico. science class yata ito, no? Okay, congratulations. 0918-910-3508. Si Enrico Galang ba ito? Enrico Galang. His answer is panel, panel. discussion. Discussion. Okay. okay. Pakitandaan natin yung mga pangalan ng ating mga winners, ha? Okay. Congratulations, Enrico. Okay. okay. So Enrico number Galang three. Na from 10 Galang. Four. Okay. Yes. So, number three. Here's the question. Number three. These are usually found in newspapers and their purpose okay. is to inform readers of what is happening in the world around them. In writing such, there is a certain structure that we need to follow. Again, these are usually found in newspapers and their purpose is to inform readers of what is happening in the world around them. In writing such, there is a certain structure that we need to follow. Dito yes, sa answer natin dito, maybe kung talagang nagbasa sila ng last nila, makikita nila like one of the structure is what we call the inverted pyramid. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Ano ba yun? Idea, no? Ah, SPJ. Kasi may SPJ natin. Ang SPJ yan. Parang naalam din yung SPJ yan. Yes. Pintahin nila yan. Yes, I think we already have answers in our chat box. Tingnan mo nga kung sino yung mga na nandiyan. We have lots of answers. Sabi ni May Liangho, Rose Reports, Aileen Agustin, Ten Obra, uh, News Reports then. Jonna Tangonan, News Reports, Aya Mendoza, Jessly Lazaro, Ryan, ah, sorry, Jasmine Garcia, Jessly Lazaro, same answers. Sino pinakauna, okay. sir? Hindi ko makuha naman, masaysa na hindi gumagalaw yung ano ko dito eh. Monitor ko ng ano, sa kuha ng mga bata. Anyway, oh, we'll get I think, them. yes, I think ang pinakauna ay si, tama ba? Jesseline Lazaro? Ay, let us find out the answer first, kung tama okay. ba. Reveal na yan, okay. reveal. The answer is? News report. News report. Okay. Congrats. Report. 
Kuminto ako kay Jelly and Bondok eh. <laughs> Wala na, hindi na umaan. Ang nauna dito sa aking screen ay si Jesslyn Lazaro. Tagas ang okay. section ba siya? Yeah. Yes. Okay, congratulations. Okay. Muli ha, tatanggap ko kayo ng mga prizes sa amin ha, tatanggap kayo. Okay, number okay. four. Number four. It is a public speaking event where students were given few minutes to select a topic, brainstorm their ideas, outline the speech, and finally deliver the speech. The speech is given without notes and uses an introduction, body, and conclusion. Okay, so ano po ito? Ano po kaya ito? Okay, at least mag, mag, may clue dyan na sinabi sa ating oh, oh. Mm. line. Oh, oh. They are given at least a few minutes time. Just a few minutes to think about it. Oh, oh. And organize their thoughts. Hindi yes. mura orada na, okay, deliver their writing. Oh, oh. okay. At least there's a little preparation. Oh, what is that? Mm-hmm. They're given time to prepare. Okay, let oh, us so, na. Those yes. reports pa rin. Medyo delayed ang ating ano, ano, internet, ano? Because of the internet, ano? internet connection. Si Ako, hindi na umalis yung ano, yung, yung sa chat box. Oo, medyo na delayed. Mm-mm. Medyo ba? Ayan, meron yata text. May nag May text na. The answer is... Ito naman pa rin. Debate, sabi ni Jaywin Takbianan. Let us find out later if that is correct. Actually, para magkaroon sila idea. In the in our last, there are what we call the speech delivery. Okay? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, kinds of speech delivery. Okay? Dalawa dyan yung medyo mahirap-hirap ng konti. The other one, they have to deliver it ura-urada or right away. And this one, uh-huh. the answer in here, still they are given at least few minutes to prepare. Okay, may clue na ba dyan? O sige, I have another, another ano dito, text from Enrico Galang again of 10 number 4. Again, four. His answer is active. impromptu speaking. Is okay, it impromptu? Tayo na impromptu okay, speaking. Okay, siguro ipakita na mga answers ba? pa dito. Malay okay, of dito. one. Nako. Okay, uh, extemporaneous speech. Richard, impromptu. Altea, May, impromptu. Aya Mendoza, impromptu. Aya, Ajian, impromptu pa rin. Jasmine, impromptu. Almost all of them answered impromptu. Ilan lang But yung example. Um, okay, let us see if that is the correct answer. It's extemporaneous okay. speech. Ayan, Kaya okay. lang, the answer of Eliza Juan is wrong spelling. Of course, as English teachers, we should look at the spelling. The correct spelling, spelling of words, no? Okay. okay. Mga anak, so, <laughs> but the correct uh, the spelling was given correctly by Enrico Galang. Shall we give him the prize? Ay, impromptu pala yung kanyang sagot. Sorry. Impromptu. Uh-huh. Okay, so Maybe I we don't, we don't no have winner, winner for this, for this part. This. Yes, uh uh-uh. yeah. We don't have winner for this part. Okay, let's uh, proceed yeah, to the next. 100 pa man din yung, 100 oh, pa man din yung premium uh-huh. niyan. <laughs> sure ka. <laughs> Ikaw mong piligay. Okay, let's have the fourth. <laughs> okay. Ay, last Number na pa. Last, 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 last. Okay, question. It is a type of speech composed, performed, or uttered on the spur of the moment. Ito na yun. Sinagot na nila kayo. <laughs> It is a type of speech composed, performed, or uttered on the spur of the moment. Ayan. Ano kaya yun? Okay. I can see answers in our chat box now. From Sai De La Cruz of 10 Rutherford. We have impromptu. Angel Akob, impromptu. Andrea Micaela, wala pala. <laughs> Sorry. Alaysa Camille Alejandro, impromptu. Christina Cassandra, impromptu, and most of the answers given are impromptu. Let's find out if that is the correct answer. Yeah, hey! Okay, that's correct. So we have a winner, Sai De La Cruz. Of Congratulations to all the winners. Congratulations. 
Yan, congrats. Okay. So, congratulations to our great 10 active learners. Your answers prove that you really understood our week one lesson. Yes, Ma'am Rosabel. Wow na wow talaga. And to start with our discussion for today's lesson, may I ask our learners to answer this question. Ayan. What would you do if you found out that you were alone in a deserted island? I repeat, what would you do if you found out that you were alone in a deserted island? Okay, my dear learners, you can just key in your answers in our chat box. So, kaya pwede nyo ring i-text ulit sa akin. Now, while we're waiting for some answers, what about you, my fellow teachers? How would you answer the same question? Oh, Ma'am Jen, ikaw, what would you do if you found out that you were alone in a deserted island? Naku, Ma'am Bebs, ako pa talaga ang tinanong mo. Alam mo naman parang hindi ko kayang mag-isa. Okay. <laughs> Ever since, alam mo naman, kahit maligo sa, sa bagyo, nung bagyo moments natin, ayoko nang naliligong mag-isa. Kasama ko talaga si Katrina. Well, yeah, yeah, thinking na. about it, it's really scary for me kasi sabi ko nga, I'm not a loner person. But if that happens, and if I have no choice, I would try to remain calm, yet alert, and also try to think of all possibilities for me to survive, and of course, surpass that challenge and I will couple it with fervent prayers kasi wala na akong ibang mapagtatakuhan sa tingin ko. I hope that will not happen. Yun, Ma'am Bebs. Okay. O, siyempre, kilala kita, no? Hindi kayang nag-iisa, no? O, what about you, True. Sir Dennis? Um, siguro, what I'm going to do is uh, I use whatever resources I have to build. Siyempre, first of all, I need to be the shelter to keep me from sun or any bad weather. Siyempre, ganun yun. At uh, mm -hmm. sa tingin ko, mas marami kong may dadagdag sa atin dito si Ma'am Rosa Bell. Kasi motherly siya, mas marami, alam niya talaga kung paano pahalagahan talaga ang pamilya niya. Yeah. Ito feeling ko, ano, uh, gamit, masyado siyang may stress. Kasi marami siyang iisipin, ano, habang nag-iisa siya doon. <laughs> Uh, oh, Rosabel, oh, huwag natin lang pala. Huwag niyo nga hanapin doon ng lesson plan. Mga ganun ha. Mga ganun ha. <laughs> of course, I would uh, look for a safe place. Saan kaya ako pupwesto? Baka may mababangis na hayop dyan. And mm -hmm. of course, I would look for my basic needs. Uh, say food and water. I would make a fire to catch an attention for a possible rescue and of course to seek God's help. Okay, okay. Ma'am Rosabel, paano naman kayang gagawin ng ating mga estudyante? We have an answer here from Hyacinth La Morena of 10 Sinagtala. Sabi niya, first order of business is improvise a shelter for protection, protection from defense. Number one. Oh, naman, no? Yun ang iisipin natin, yung ating safety and security. Ay, ibang sagot pa ba dyan, sir? Wala. Ma hindi, hindi. O, oh, naglag na rin? Nag hindi tumata. Okay, meron ano? pa tayo. May nakita pa akong isa. From Jesslyn Lazaro. <coughs> Sabi niya, find a way how to survive. Yes. Okay. Kasi Sabi naman ni Lester De La Cruz, Create a rescue signal. That's from 10 Obra. Obra. SOS or And, ah, sige. Last na siguro to. From Levy Jane Sullivan. Stay calm and pray. Okay. Eh, ma'am, ikaw, ikaw ba? Paano ikaw? Ano naman sagot mo? Well, of course, ang una kong iisipin yung aking safety and security. I think I would look for uh, drinkable water kasi at least kahit wala kong pagkain, kung may tubig, magubuhay ka, di ba? Kahit ng mas ilang araw. And then, uh, I'll try to come up with my shelter or look for a place where I can stay safe. Sabi ko nga, safety and security. And what True. did I add? Why? 
why did I ask that question? Because it has something to do with the story found in your learning activity sheets, which is titled The Life of Hi. Okay, and also our RBI discussion for today focused on the novel Turn Movie. Life of Pi, written by the Canadian author Jan Martel. The story talks about the main character, Pisin, more, more popular popularly known as Pi, whose family was struck by a tragedy in the middle of the Pacific Ocean and found himself the only human survivor aboard a lifeboat. So, however, Kai is not alone. There is a Bengal tiger has also found the refuge aboard the lifeboat. And as they turn into weeks and weeks drag into months, Kai and the Bengal tiger, known as Richard Parker, learn to trust each other for them to survive. Okay, so remember that for better understanding of a story, there is a need to identify the different elements found in it. The ability to identify the elements of a story leads in comprehension, leads to a deeper understanding and appreciation of stories. And let students learn to write stories of their own. So now let's dip dig deeper into the basic element of a story. Mom Jen? Yes, Mom Rosa. So, for us to better understand, I'm going to tackle some parts and elements of a story. And according to Freytag, there are six elements. Okay, I'm gonna start with the characters. Okay, characters refers to the persons or people, animals, or pictures that think talk, and many others. And there are two types of characters. Okay, sa Tagalog, mas madaling ito. Letter A is protagonist or bida. And letter B is the contra bida. Of course, mabilis nang i-identify yan, okay? Kaya pag tinanong natin si Cardo de Lisa iba, eh, bida or contra bida. And <laughs> sagot Siyempre, natin dyan, alam eh. Alam nila yan. Alam nila yan. Siya ay bida. Ang bidang hindi na mamatay, sampung taon na. O di ba? Bongga. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How about Sir Dennis? I just would like to ask you, um, if you're going to analyze, um, who do you consider is the protagonist in our story, Life of Pi? And at the same time, can you also name at least one of his antagonists? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, perhaps, ang nakikita natin dyan sa kwento po, no, mga anak, ha? Sipi, una-una, Dahil sa kwento mismo, sa pangalan mismo, si Pai. Pai is the protagonist, no? Because he's the main character. Uh, while, uh, ito, isa lang to, ha? Richard Parker, Richard Jordan. Richard Parker is considered <laughs> as one of the uh, antagonists, no? At, at, at some point in the story, Richard Parker was one of the enemies of Pai. But towards mm -hmm. the latter, uh, yes, the latter part, I mean, uh, of the story, Pai learned how to tam this Bengal tiger and they become friends and companions. Yun ang nakita natin sa huli ng kwento. Yes. Okay. Agree ako dyan, Sir Dennis. Okay, definitely our protagonist is by himself and one of the antagonists but later on become the friend is the Bengal tiger Richard mm -hmm. Parker. One of the reasons why Pai survived the being alone in the desert. So time check tayo, it's 9.04 ah. So stay tuned hanggang 9.30 dear learners. And of course, we now move to the second part or the second element, which is setting. Tita Rosa? The second element is setting. This refers to the time and place where and when a story happened. At times, it may be real or make a believe place and time. Okay? So, from the novel Life of Pi, can you give me one of the settings from that story? Marami, mar marami sila mama, no? maraming settings dyan. So, sa Pilipino, ano ba ang setting? Is Tagpuan. 
tagpuan by Moira. O di ba? Tagpuan. Okay, kung saan ito ginanap. Okay. So, so, uh, in addition to that, it's not only the tagpuan. Uh, yes. uh, it, additional din is, is kailan siya ginanap. ginanap. Pero ang notion natin kasi minsan, pag sinabing setting ay kung saan, kung saan, most of the time. Yes, but, but it is actually it, where and when. Saan uh, where and when. And it also includes the, the condition, pwedeng yung weather condition, weather condition. time na yun. Mm-hmm. Okay, my dear students. Then, grade 10 learners. Grade 10 learners. Can you give us one of the settings of the story, Life of Pi? Before we tell you some of the settings. Ayan, may sagot na ma'am, Bev. May text uh, na. Wala na akong nagka-text. Ang mga answer pa lang nila ay yung tanong kanina. Medyo, ano, no? Nade-delay yata ang kanilang mm-hmm. signal. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, that's one of the problems. Grade 10 learners. Oy, may nakita akong isa. Wait lang. Uh, merong sumagot kanina eh ng Pondicherry. Hindi ko lang ma-identify kung sino. Marami kasi dito sa aking screen. Uh-huh. Yes, Pondicherry. Uh, sa Jajan Mar, Galante. In India, in the late 1990s. Okay. Sabi naman ni Jessing, Pondicherry, also in India. Okay. Sige, Sige, most of your answers, Europa. India, most or meron din ng sabi ng Mexico. <laughs> May nag-answer din ng Canada. Canada. Okay. Okay. Will you please take a look at ano? Ma'am Rosabel, uh, will you please give us one of the settings of the story? Many settings in the story, but mm-hmm. one of the settings took place in Pacific Ocean. Oh, okay. okay. Ayan. Pacific it's the Pacific predominant Ocean setting. It's mm-hmm. the largest and deepest ocean on Earth. The second one is Atlantic Ocean, and the third largest and deepest ocean on Earth is the Indian Ocean. Okay, another another addition to that. It, uh, the very reason why it was named Pacific, because it's very peaceful, it's very calm. <clears throat> yes, true. Okay, now let's move on. Okay, next. Okay. We're now down to the third element, and we call it plot. Okay, kung nakinig kayo kanina, if you have listened to our RBI, there's a song there for you to really easily memorize the plot. But based on free tag, there are six elements of the plot. But first, plot refers to the series of events which happened in the story. Okay, Ma'am Bebs, next slide tayo para mas madali nyong maintindihan. When we say plot, we are tro- um, we are trying to give you a triangle, okay? Nag mistap na yata ang ating presentation. Yan triangle. The first part is the exposition. Next part is the rising action, okay? Ating triangle. And of course, kung nagdrawing tayong triangle, kung paganyan si triangle. Yung kanyang tuktok or the summit itself is what you call the climax. And down, slanting downward, we call it as the falling action. Kasi kung pansin ninyo, pababa siya, pabagsa. And from that falling action, we have there the resolution. Okay? And lastly, yung pinaka last part number six is what you call the denoma. We pronounce it as denoma. Okay? It's not denomen. Okay? When we speak of exposition, jaan natin makikita ang mga characters. It is where characters are being introduced. Characters and settings are being introduced. Pero para mas maunawaan ninyo, I'm going to give you an example. If you're familiar with the story, is Snow White. Okay? Wala naman siguro hindi nakakakilala kay Snow White. Okay? Ang babae na merong putis na kasing puti at kinis ng mga niebe. Okay. Sa story na yan, sabi natin ang exposition dyan is where there is this cruel stepmom and she's very envious, okay, of Snow White because Snow White is the 
most beautiful lady that time. And she has a secret. And that secret is she has a mirror, a magical mirror that says the truth of who among is the fairest. Okay? Exposition, inilalayag, inilalasag kung sino ang mga characters. And we proceed to the rising action. Paakyat na. Kaya nga sinabing rise. Okay? Pansin niyo, paakyat. And in the story, Snow White, sabihin natin ang rising action dahil sa kanyang inggit because of envy that this stepmom feels towards the most beautiful lady Snow White, <coughs> nakaisip siya ng isang idea. And that idea is to um, order a huntman and kill Snow White. Okay? Yan ang kanyang rising action. Dito sa rising action natin, it is where the tensions are built up at pinapalkita rin kung ano yung nagiging problema. Okay? Parami na lang parami ang mga kaganapan. Okay? And at the last um, portion o yung pinaka-highest peak, we call that as the climax sa Tagalog, Tugatog. Okay? And when we speak of climax, it is the highest point of interest in the story. Okay? Ituloy natin yung kwento ni Snow White. Yan. Dahil sa kanyang inggit, pinapatay siya. Okay? Ngayon, ang hindi nila nalaman, hindi nalaman ni mother, stepmother, na naawa pala si Huntman. Okay? Naawa siya. Itong si Snow White, pinatakas na at siya ngayon kasalukuyang nakatira sa mga seven dwarfs na kanyang friends. Ngayon, nag-order naman si ma stepmom asking of who is the favorite. Then suddenly, sumagot si Mirror. Ang sabi ni Mirror, who is the prettiest? the fairest and still it was Snow White galit na galit ngayon itong si stepmom and she disguised as an old wicked lady okay or woman pumunta siya kung nasaan nakatira itong si Snow White binigyan niya ng apple and of course this apple because it's very delicious as it looks like very red kinuha niya kinain niya ngayon ang pick dyan ang tugatok yung tipong kakagatin pala yung apple ah yung gano'n yung mga emotions natin, yun ang climax. Okay? Oo, gano'n talaga yung climax. Yung talagang tagidig my heart, wala na. Okay? So, that's part. Climax siya. Ngayon, yung pakakaabangan dyan is mamatay ba siya? Ela, poisonous yung apple na yun. Ngayon, yung kanyang death, it's the pagbagsak. Okay? The falling action. We're in, in the falling action, the events that, that, the event that happened in the after the climax yung pagkamatay niya is definitely the falling action the question is will she survive but thanks god there is this prince who came and she he was mesmerized by the beauty of snow white ano kung gagawin ni prince okay so ang ginawa niya kinalikan niya si prince okay yun yun, yun na yung resolution part natin dumating si prince kinalikan niya and of course, Snow White was restored to love. And naging love sila sa isa't isa. And nagpakasal. And they live happily ever after. Is definitely our Denoma or ending. Wow, oh, kinilig si Sir Dennis dyan kasi nakahanap ng happily ever after si Snow White. Siya wala pa. Ay, soon na pala. Okay. I hope that through that example, you could easily understand bakit pa, pa triangle itong ating story so more to uh, we'll give you more samples in the next lessons to come and we're now ready to proceed to the fourth part or fourth element Mabed? yes our fourth element wait lang na ulit ha hindi <laughs> actually okay lang ganyan may recall ko lang siya yes that's just a recall our fourth element of a story is the conflict. Ito yung tunggalian. It's the battle between two forces. It's the opposition. It's the struggle of the main character. It occurs when the main character struggles with either an external, outside forces, or internal. So, ibig sabihin, pag internal, pwede ang kalaban niya, ang katunggalian niya, ay yung kanyang sarili mismo. And there are actually uh, different types of conflict or tunggalian sa isang kwento. Ano yung mga yun? Let's just have a run through of the six 
number one is character versus self. Ito yung yung main character, ang kalaban niya mismo ay yung kanyang sarili. Sarili? Siguro naman aware kayo yung sa mga kwento nung merong dual personality. Yung sa, sa umaga, umaga okay, siya, okay siya, sa gabi. Sa gabi. Iba yung kanyang personality. personality. O, yung mga mahilig dyan sa paper, kay drama, no? Si Hyun Jin yes. sa... Jekyll and Hyde. Dalawang kanyang personality. Pero na so, maga Robert, nagabi yung Roberta. Oh. <laughs> Pwede yun. I like the same thing. Ay, hindi ba yun? Iba ba yun? Iba ba yun? Kala ko yun. Kilala ko ganun eh. Pwede rin. Yung tipong hindi niya malabanan na talagang sa gabi, for example, is iba, nag-iiba yung kanyang personality. Different from the personality in the morning. Ibang-iba. Okay. The second one is character versus character. Oh, ito yung pinaka-common. Oh, yung sa kwento ng uh, Corbinciano, ang kalaban niya most of the time ay mga characters din, mga tao din, kagaya niya. So, pag, pag nakikipagbarilan na siya, si Cardo, sa kanyang mga kalaban, si ano dati yun? Yung... Pulang Wako. araw mo, may maaaral ako eh. Oo, for example, pulang araw, kasama niya yung mga yun eh. Ay, pulang araw ko lang ako sa mga climax. Nung mga kalaban niya yung mga. Kaya niya, buhay pa rin siya, no? no? Tapos naging ano siya, naging kasama niya yung mga pulang araw, I think. Yes. Diba? Oh, that's number two. Number three naman, character versus society. Ang kalaban niya ay mga pwedeng mga problema sa lugar kung saan siya nakatira. Pwedeng kahirapan. Yeah, Oo. Oh, oh. And he's trying to survive. Okay, number four naman, the main character battles with supernatural. Supernatural characters, halimbawa ang makalaban yung mga monsters. Hmm, true. At kung ano-ano pang mga hindi ma-explain na characters, mga tigbalang, aswang. Okay. Pedro Penduko. <laughs> Yan, isang mga sadyante natin nagiging aswang. Kalaban ang mga monsters. Kalaban natin sila. Bakit? Kasi mahilig silang mag-message ng mong ano, yung madaling araw. <laughs> okay. okay. Jo- joke lang yun, ah. Okay. Number five, character versus technology. technology. Ang kalaban ng main character dyan, halimbawa yung mga robots. Yes. Diba? Parang sa Transformers. Transformers, yes. Hirap kalabanin, no? Okay. And then the last one, ang kalaban ng main character ay nature or natural yeah. phenomenon gaya ng baha, lindol, okay. uh, volcanic gaya eruption. Ng, yan, yan. Pelikula oh, ang gaya ng twister, ano, tornado, hurricane, yeah. chos, mga pating. Yeah. Yung mga kalaban. Okay? So those are the different types of conflict. conflict. Now let's proceed to the next element, Ma'am Rosa. The next element is the theme. Okay? Theme is the general truth about life. This is considered as the message of the story to the readers. Okay? So, we know that the story of the life of Pi has many lessons to teach. Okay? We have don't give up. Never lose hope because... Miracles do happen. Life of Pi is a story of perseverance and a story of not giving up even in the hardest conditions. It's important not to give up on your dreams and give up on life. So at present, we are experiencing pandemic. The ultimate thing we can do is to strengthen our faith to God. How about my fellow teachers? What lesson did you learn from the story of Pi, Ma'am Jen? Uh, ako, ako, Ma'am Rosa, as for me, I learned that the fittest always survives. Okay? Kasi this world is really an arena. Sabi nga nila, survival of the thing. And of course, to survive in this world, it's never easy. We really need, really need to do something. But having proper mindset, adaptability to change, determination, discipline, and at the same time, of course, faith in God will surely help us surpass all the life's challenges. Yun, Mambet. 
Okay. Yes. Sa akin naman, Ma'am Rosabelle, um, the story tells us that even when you seem to be all alone, kahit nag-iisa ka daw in your journey in life, God will give you company. O, diba? No matter who they are. In, uh, pwede siyang tao, pwede siyang hayop. Kagaya nung kwento ni Pai, ang naging companion niya sa kanyang journey ay yung Bengal Tiger. Bale mo sa akin, aso. Ako, music lang, sapat na. Pag wala talaga akong kasama, yung that's the way I try to um, reverse or counterpart my fear of being alone. O, sige. Okay, indeed, the story of Life of Pi is worth watching and reading for it contains so many life's lessons that we can learn and apply in real-life situation. No? I hope that our learners have learned so much from our discussion today. No. Now, let's let me test. So let us test how well you understood the lesson. We will be giving five items to answer in multiple choice. Just key in the letter of your answer in your chat box, in our chat box also. Items will be re read twice and you need to get ready, okay? Now, ma'am, yung number po natin ulit, ma'am Bebs. Okay, for those who are sending their answers via text, here is the number 0905-101-5015. I repeat, okay, ma'am, Bev. 0905-101-5015. Yes, ma'am, Jen? Okay, so we just have um, to check our time. It's 9.22. Um, we try to adjust a little bit if we still ano, get into that time. If we could not make it to the five items, then we could just give at least three items. Pero yes. bilisan na lang natin siguro. Okay, Ayan na. so let's Agot have the first na. question. Okay, so the number one question. Uh, hmm. Yeah, nah, just key in your the letter, the letter of your answer. Yes, Our letters. Answer. Okay, letters lang. Letter lang ha, letter. Okay. Ma'am Jen, paki check ang chat box ha. Okay, mag mag open na po ng aking chat box. Okay, Sige. number one, sir. Uh, number one question. Pi is stranded in the Pacific Ocean with a sea with a zebra, hyena, orangutan, and a tiger. That is the blank in the story, Life of Pi. What is the answer? Again, okay. Pi is stranded in the Pacific Ocean with a zebra, hyena, orangutan, and a tiger. That is the blank in the story, Life of Pi. Okay, our dear students, start key your answer, the letter of your answer in our yes. chat. Oh, yes, just only you the can letter also of your answer. Text me. The letter of your answer. What is that part in the story? The part of the plot. Is that okay. the initial action, rising action, climax, or resolution? We already have answers. There is already an answer from Ira Asuncion. And her answer is letter B. From Christina Cassandra Valdez from 10 Mendeley, letter B. Okay, I think, Ma'am Jen, all their answers are letter B. Let's okay. find Reveal out if that correct answer. is correct. The answer? Okay, Reveal. it's rising, oh, rising action. action. And so, yeah. our winner is... Ira Asuncion from 10 Ira Butterfield. We still have, we still okay, have five minutes. Question. Okay, next question. Okay, here's number two question. The lifeboat takes a great part in the life of Pi. What does this life boat symbolize? Again, the life boat takes a great part in the life of Pi. What does this life boat symbolize? The letter of your answer for question number two. Again, na lang number two. Don't forget two. to write the number, number two. Number two. Number two. Number two. What is the answer? Okay, ayan na mabilis talaga tong si Henesar. Ano to? Hene Carlo ano answer. Yeah? Number Jean two, Carlo. Number two, letter B. Let us see if that is correct. Okay, yeah. it's letter B. Congratulations, Jean Carlo. Oh, isang tanong na lang ba? 
Isang tanong na lang okay, po ba? Okay, next. Pa? Oo, isang tanong na lang. Isang tanong na lang. Okay, sige, isang tanong lang. Oh, sige, isang tanong third na lang. Third question. Okay, third question, okay, ha? Third question. Yes. Number Pi three. believes in... Number three. So, write yung number three. Pi. Pi believes in three religions. Okay, tandaan nyo, ha? Pi believes in three religions. Hinduism, Christianity, and Islam. What do we call a person who believes in many religions? Again, I believe in three religions, Hinduism, Christianity, and Islam. What do we call a person who believes in many religions? Is it A, atheist, B, monotheist, C, omnist, or D, pessimist? Ulitin natin ha. Pai believes in three religions, Hinduism, Christianity, and Islam. What do we call a person who believes in many religions? Number three. Is it A? I believe in Yes. Is it A, atheist, B, monotheist, or C, monotheist? Wait lang. Take note. Mono means one. Jennifer, how much? Yes, religion. So, ano po answer natin? Kasi wala kasi pang nakakuha ng tamang sagot. Hindi ko rin kasi ano, hindi, hindi, hindi talaga gumaan. No? Okay. So, uh, Eto na, may sumagot sa akin. Si Ronald Madriaga and his answer is C. Yes. Ano? It's... Anong answer niya? C. 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 Is that correct? The correct answer is? Tignan natin ha. Okay, correction. Yes. Congratulations. Okay, congratulations. The correct answer is omnists. Okay. Mambebs. Ayan. Lang na wala ako mga kapatid. Okay, so there you have it. Oh, back up tayo, sir. Ano, sir? Okay. Yan ha. There you have it, dear grade ten learners. Ako na mambebs. Ano na kita? So we thank you for staying with us. Until the last portion of our RBI lesson. So we hope to see you again next week for another fun field learning experiences from today's discussion. Yes. And for our next live stream, we shall be talking about text evaluation. In this topic, we shall be discussing one of the most interesting stories, how my brother Leon brought home a wife. And we are also going to apply, again, the elements of a story. And we shall learn also about literary devices. On behalf of my fellow grade 10 English teachers, I am teacher Jennifer Ibelasco and we have Mom Rosabel, Brillio, Sir Dennis, and of course our technical specialist Sir Jashiel Guillermo. I would like to leave you a quote from Joshua J. Marine. Remember that challenges are what makes our life interesting. Overcoming them is what makes our lives more meaningful. Till next week for another hashtag lesson accomplished in Great Ten English. Goodbye and stay safe. Goodbye, everyone. everyone. Thank you, dear teachers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Always. Salamat. Facts and information. Today's learning for you normal with capable teachers whose heart and soul are divine. Delivered knowledge inside your home through 106.3 Dance Radio. Fully dedicated to serve the public in tribute to education, reproduce of radio-based instruction. We are pleased to deliver the utmost aim of education only here on 106.3 DWDRFM. People on 106.3 Dance Radio. Dance, Dance Radio. Prepare yourself. Ang silid aralan sa radyo, hatid namin ay makabagong paraan ng pagtuturo at kalaman. Mapaumaga, tanghali o hapon man yan, ang espasyong magbibigay informasyon kahit sa man. Big. 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 Big.
Doña Aurora National High School, Santa Rita, Aurora, Isabela. This 106.3 DWDR FM. Radio, learning is the name. 